soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the Great Crusade, toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine. We want to open today's little video with Eisenhower's words on D-Day. We'll look at how we can use a few fantastic free mods to recreate the airborne operation Neptune in great detail in Flight Simulator 2020. On June 6, 1944, shortly after midnight, D-Day began with the landing of American and British airborne units on French territory. Two American airborne divisions were to establish a bridgehead in the saint mer Eglise area to secure the landing of the US infantry on the Utah Beach Coast. D-Day had begun. 13,000 paratroopers jumped from 821 Douglas C-47 aircraft and 4,400 soldiers were flown in by gliders. They were to secure the landing of American infantry units on the Utah Beach Coast and help them capture Cherbourg as quickly as possible. The two airborne divisions succeeded in achieving most of their objectives. Most importantly, saint mer Eglise was liberated in the early hours of June 6th. German units launched a counterattack in the afternoon, but the paratroopers, although lightly armed, held their ground until they were helped by armoured units advancing from nearby Utah Beach the following day. Now let's recreate the operation in Fly Simulator 2020, and it's completely free. First, we transform the modern landscape of Normandy from Flight Simulator into an environment that is very close to the period of 1944. In Flight Sim TO, we find four free mods that remove the modern scenery elements and transport us to the Second World War. As always, you can find the links to download the free mods in the video description. Enhance your World War II flight experience with this historical landscape expansion. Explore a fictional 100 square kilometer landscape filled with poplar trees, animals, vehicles and more, designed to further enhance your immersion in the 1944 setting. It contained hundreds of buildings and houses, dozens of animals, some animated, sheep, cows, horses, bridges and churches, long convoys of World War II vehicles, Mulberry Harbour, Deadman's Corner, Long Surmere Battery, Omaha Beach Cemetery, and many more. Another free mod developed by Jeppesen, especially for a community flight, changes the beaches of Utah and Omaha and turns it into a battlefield. As you approach Utah Beach in flight, you will experience a surprise. You can hear the sounds of war and flag guns flying over the beach. Burning landing ships, parachutes and many numerous details can be seen. The coast is transformed into a grim atmosphere of war. Absolutely fantastic work. The link to this free mod is in the video description. There were 100 flights on D-Day. In order to recreate them historically, we need the flight plans from that time. Here too, we find what we are looking for in Flight Sim TO, and it's free. Experience historic D-Day airborne operations with this commemorative mod, featuring flights carrying 101st and 82nd US Airborne and 6th British Airborne Division. Includes original navides and real-time navlog for authentic navigation challenges. Simply unzip and place the folder into your MSFS community folder. The link is in the video description. What do you think of the free mods? Have you already flown the original flight routes of Operation Neptune? Write it in the comments. This picture is a small tribute to those men, living and dead, who went in before H hour on D-Day. The wall of fortifications stretched along the entire coast of Europe. Part of the plan called for our air forces to carry an army of paratroops and airborne infantry over this wall. The chiefs of staff wanted them dropped deep in German-held territory to establish defense areas and block the movement of the enemy reserves. Then they decided the invasion spearhead was to strike in Normandy. 
A few of the outfits got the idea they ought to show the Germans we had Indians in America. Here they are. Indians from the Loop, from Back Bay, and the Bronx. We knew we'd be following soon after. That takeoff was something I'll never forget. Sure, we'd all made a lot of training hops, but this was different. Like the first time you ride a bicycle, only with a whole lot farther to fall if anything goes wrong. Nothing did, though. Not with those troop carrier guys at the controls. Talk about making trains run on time. You could have really set your watch by the split second way those guys took us off. They took those ships off the ground like it was just another practice run. For them, I guess it was. After all, they were gonna have to fly it again and again, all night and the next day, only under fire. And that's no fun when you figure that these C-47s haven't any armor, no guns, and have to fly low over the dropping zones, straight as on a bombing run. We had no idea where we were when we got the order to stand up and hook up. That came so quick, we didn't have time to do much thinking before we were over the side and starting that 400-foot drop into France. Thousands of us. junctions, knocking out bridges, capturing fields for airstrips, and all the while, out in the channel behind them. Navy guns kept slamming away at the beaches, softening things up for the big push that would begin at dawn, clearing the way for the biggest invasion in history, the greatest movement of men and supplies. The troop carrier command was ready for its next move. They had massed hundreds of British and American gliders in preparation for the most gigantic aerial towing job ever attempted. And what about the German Luftwaffe? This was its big chance. Our air forces had established air supremacy, sure. We had a regular umbrella of fighters over us. But if there was ever a time the German flyers would try anything to break through, this was that time. But we never saw a German plane. Approaching the French coast, the ak, -Ak and gunfire seemed harmless and far away. For those who were right in it, it was different. Looking down at those men on the beaches of Normandy, we felt a little guilty, too, sitting up over them, not even getting our feet wet. Cut loose. Roger. So long. Yes, their mission had been successful. But this down payment on freedom ran very high. These broken wings served the highest purpose. They carried an army into Normandy. An army which spearheaded the Allied invasion, carried the fight for freedom right to the front door of those who had challenged it. A ring of steel and iron and guns and determined free men was closing in. Months and miles of battle lay ahead, but D-Day minus one was the beginning. Okay, troop carrier, where do we go from here? 